Thank you very much. Uh, it's very difficult after this kind of video to have a, a TED talk. Uh, I will tell you something about my idea I want to use. Uh, my idea is as follows. How can we use sensor technology? And you see a lot of examples in the video for job equality. That's my idea, and I'm not uh, working on this idea, and I hope you will help me with this idea afterwards, because I have still some questions and hobbles to take. Let's see some figures. We have an employment rate of 6,085 people in the Netherlands nowadays. And there are two strategies fighting unemployment, you can say. The first one is the economy, someone said earlier. Create more jobs. So simple it is, when there are more jobs available, there are more people at work. But it's not so easy, because we invest in the Netherlands in the top sectors, but then you invest in high-skilled jobs. Not everybody is, have the skills, have the talents, the competences to comply for these kind of vacancies. So what, another strategy is to invest in people. Train them, guide them, learn them how to network, especially for elderly unemployment is very important. But still, the labor market is a very competitive market. And a lot of people applying for one job, and a lot of people are don't, are staying behind. And then they fall back to the social security system. When we look at the market, and the job selection, there are two things very important. And that's international. One thing is about the competences. When I have you the right competence for this vacancy. The job interviewer, interviewer is also looking about assumed economic value. Have you more value than your competitors? That's one kind of the job selection. The second kind is far more important, and becomes far more important. The fit between person and organization. You can imagine that this guy in his trousers don't get this job. And this opens a window for discrimination, for selection based on images, stereotyping and not on facts. The facts are above, discrimination are below. And everybody, well, we talk about it, but what to do against it? And that is my theme from this talk. How can we use sensor technology for equal opportunities in the labor market? Because sensor technology creates facts. And facts are very important in this combat against this stereotyping, against this discrimination. And when we talk about sensor technology, where are we talking about? Okay, you see a lot of devices in the video earlier. So you can imagine we're not talking about this old picture at the bar. Not with an old telephone, not with some glasses on your breast and so further on. Now we talk about new technology. For example, a, a bracelet, a sense bracelet, will measure your muscular tension. Or we can even use sensors in jackets for company t-shirts and so further on. So sensor technology can think about very, very small devices. And the problem is I know nothing about this sensor technology. I came with the idea. But the experts tell me, don't invest in building sensors, because the sensors are available worldwide. You have to collect them and put them in one system. And when you put them in one system, you can tailor-make technology used 
in the workplace environment. And this is the scheme, what we want to develop. Tailor-made sensors collect data. But when you have data, you don't have information. So you have to transfer this data into information. For example, for the fitness of one people. You give some personal feedback to the employer. Oh, sorry, the employee. But also you can have to get feedback, management info to the employer, to the business company, to the human resource manager. And we know when you give people personal feedback that they change their behavior. And that's very important. And this feedback is not based on images, but on real facts, on measurements, on monitoring. And we are now building this system, and we'll tell something about how we do this and for its target group. Healthy lifestyle, individual coping, that are the feedback mechanism, human resource management about task loads, task differentiation, and job changes. This project we are talking about are the elderly people, because the nice picture, who want you to hire? The person on your left or the person on your right? People are hired on based on their age. Age discrimination is a very different, difficult problem in our society. Because the assumption is that people, when they become elder, their productivity is less. That's correct, partly. Because we know that when you become elder, aging means lower physical work capacity. It's difficult for you to switch between auditive and visual attention. Memory loss. Where are the car keys? Everybody above the 50s knows always where are the car keys. And there's a slow decline. And in this slow decline, it can happen, let, let's look my words, it can happen that your job requirements are higher than your own performance. It can happen. Because at the same time, the older, the greater the individual differences are. So you have to look at the individual level, what e everybody can do, what really can perform. Don't base your performance on a group perspective, but on an individual perspective. Then you can make tailor-made intervention. Then you can look as a company, is it necessary, necessary to do some job differentiation? Or should I invest in the lifestyle of the people? Food, movement, sleep, and so further on. So we want to develop a system that gives persons feedback, and we give the company some clues. Nice, we thought. Some experts are building these sensors, this data analysis system, but then how to put it in practice. And I hope that you will help me with this question, because the techniques are available. I think at one year, we have built already a system and sensors. But one of the biggest problems is when we use this kind of devices in the workplace, how can we protect the worker? Because one of the pitfalls is that the employer says, OK, I see some decline in your work performance. I see some decline in your fitness, and I will get rid of you. Just privacy is a very, very important issue in this device. Because you can't solve not everything in this technique, you have also to deal with the people, and especially the unattended consequences of these devices. But we believe in it. Why do we believe in it? Because in my opinion, it is very important when you talk really about the labor market, 
a really open, competitive labor market, then you have to look on the facts and not on the images. Equal opportunities. That's what I'm striving for. Thank you very much.